Pisces, what up though family, welcome to Swimming Through the Void, this will be a general reading message for the sign of Pisces, wherever that resonates at for you in your chart, keep in mind time and energy are fluid, we all have a 12th house as part of our birth chart, so take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Tapping into my Piscean energy, I used this uh, faceted garden oracle deck today to catch a vibe as I'm connecting to the Pisces energy. It's a pretty deep message coming through here. First card that came out was this pillar card. I always see this card as uh, being very similar to the hermit right where it's like we've made it to the top of a mountain to the end of a cycle and we're and we're sort of seeing things from a higher perspective we're overlooking our cycles the cycle that we just made it through right we're seeing things differently things are clicking sort of like we're overlooking the path that we've taken to get here and here we are at this portal, at this gate, this sacred gateway here, Pisces, where the storm clouds are clearing up, you're gaining this sacred wisdom, and it's really sort of like, okay, what now? Where from here? I see that you're shedding and you've shed a lot, right, through this process with this fall card. Um, really have went inside, dove deep, and um, it feels basically like after a storm, the sun is coming back out, and that's that's literally sort of what's happening here in this wild card, right? <clears throat> On the bottom of the deck here, we have this light card, and right under that, we have this seeds card here. So a a really good time to start planting seeds, right? Where are we going next? What what is is you know what's next? What's coming? What would we like to see come in? Um, and moving from this higher state of consciousness, now you're you're sort of moving from that space, and you're able to take that wisdom, integrate it, and use it as sort of this guiding light as you move forward through your ascension journey here so let's jump into this tarot you guys page of uh wands on the bottom of the deck and i'm seeing this as sort of <clears throat> your next spiritual quest this this new direction you're moving in this this new level that you're coming from it's like all right let's go this is a it's a new cycle it's a new start here divine mother Father, Holy Spirit of the Most High, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Ancestors, Messages for my Piscean family for their highest good. Anything my Pisces need to hear right now, anything they need to know. Any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation, any messages that will empower them, any messages that will help align them to their highest self, to their highest and most divine timeline, to their best life, to the will of the divine will be greatly appreciated. All praise and glory to the Most High forever and ever. Om Namah Shivai. Spirit, what do we have here? You guys, spirit wants you to know that there's a lot of potential here for you at this time for growth, for healing, for growing. Like I said, planting those seeds, however that resonates for you. Okay. Wow. A lot coming through. All right, let's get it. Spirit, what do we have here <clears throat> in the past energies for my Pisces?
What is incoming for my Pisces? do not give up a lot coming through here in the past we have the five of pentacles and what i really see with this card and what i feel is you were in a situation maybe a relationship this could be a family relationship it could be friends for some of you it could have could be a marriage it could have been a marriage a romantic relationship there's this relationship where somebody was definitely or some situation was definitely making you feel less than, like you weren't good enough. Um, feeling really alone. It's almost like what I'm seeing from my Pisces is you were feeling excluded from something. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer type energy here. And you left that behind. There may be a message in that song for, for somebody. I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, but what I see is I see you leaving something behind here, Pisces, to move toward the light, to move toward happiness, to move toward something better. This, this was not an easy decision for you to make to leave whatever said situation was behind, right? Eight of Cups is about situations that we have a lot of time invested into a lot of energy a lot of love a lot of money whatever it may have been right and you decided to move into a new direction bringing us to your current energy it's like you're you're fighting for what's yours really is is some of you need to hear that you're fighting for what's rightfully yours your birthright and i see you taking action being strong having the courage to really move toward you know this win this success here and spirit really sort of saying in this reading overall to keep pushing and to keep focusing forward because in your theme of your reading i see this heartbreak i see this pain family i see something that really hurt you but this is something that you really learned a lot from this relationship this situation whatever it was i see you sort of gaining this deep wisdom and again, we did get the Hermit, just like this pillar card, the first card to come out as I was tapping into your energy. And by the way, this is the Faceted Garden Oracle deck that I use to tap in. It's always either the Faceted Garden Oracle deck that I use or the Illuminated Earth Oracle deck that I use to tap in and just catch a vibe. This tarot deck is the Light Seer's Tarot one of the easiest decks to work with and sort of been my go-to for a few years now um because i feel like it, it resonates um with the collective energy that we've been experiencing right but this is you really looking over the path that you've taken to get to where you're at and realizing a lot gaining a lot of clarity gaining a lot of wisdom and uh really sort of letting this be your guiding light as you move through this darkness right we have your card out here pisces with the moon i always see the moon as sort of having to do with cancer energy as well right um so that may be a, a message for someone. There may be like Cancerian energy, a mother figure, or, or some of you may have very prominent cancer placements or something. But what I'm really seeing is the what I'm hearing is the illusion, the delusion or illusion is being dispelled. And you're really sort of grabbing the reins. You're grabbing the bull by the horns here. And you're taking action to, again, to fight for what's yours, to, to climb this ladder to continue your ascension journey and you for a lot of my pisces the past couple months there's been a lot of shadow energies a lot of dark energies whether this is addictions or or karmic um 
situations or even literal demons or psychic attack or however it resonates for you there's been a lot of darkness coming through over the past few months but what i really see is my pisces reaching for that light you're you're making it through you're fighting you're you're pushing right and really having the courage to step into life to really move toward what it is you deserve here your win your success maybe some of you are even gaining recognition in some way shape or form for what you've been through and what you've made it through and what you've fought your way through um but in very simple terms my pisces are <laughs> soldiers and they're soldiering on pushing through toward their win toward their success toward you know toward this glow up and what it really feels like here is you are truly overcoming whatever this chaos this turbulence this conflict this competition whatever that was right this is the five of wands then we have the six of wands the six of wands this right here represents that fight that cycle it's completed now we have the wreath it's come full circle and here you are standing victorious all eyes on me in my tupac voice i just want y'all to soak that in right i'm just being guided to let you see this card pisces you're doing it you're doing it you're literally you made it you're doing it in your incoming energy <clears throat> I'm seeing this massive shift happening a turning of the wheel here in your favor where now you're starting to see your hard work paying off here this darkness is is literally we have the light card on the bottom this darkness is being dispelled by the light and so truly a message here of overcoming, of victory here. And what I'm seeing is you're sort of very, very tapped in intuitively um, exercising your psychic gifts and abilities, your intuition, your healing abilities, and not only healing yourself, but those around you as well. And you're moving from this space now of wisdom and uh, emotional intelligence, where it's like you're directly plugged into spirit, you're getting these downloads, these intuitive feelings, and you're like, yep, let's go. I trust you, universe. I trust you, spirit. And you're moving into, for a lot of you, relationships that are really pouring back into you and it may have taken a lot where you maybe had to learn your self-worth or you maybe had to learn to set healthy boundaries or really trust that piscean intuition rather than talking yourself out of it however this resonates for you i'm definitely seeing lovely energy coming in for you possibly a soulmate type energy here but this does not necessarily have to be love my pisces are the tables are turning where instead of being in situations where you're not feeling good enough or you're being made to feel like you're not good enough or like you're all alone or or excluded in some way <clears throat> this is very much so situations that are pouring back into you that are very much so fulfilling Wow, Archangel um, Gabriel coming through and you're reading very, very strongly. I wanted to say Raphael at first, but I can literally see Archangel Gabriel coming through in your reading right now, in this space with us. So maybe that's relevant to somebody or it means something to one of you. Maybe one of you have been working with Archangel Gabriel. This is a true healing of your emotional space. I just got really hot, you guys, like a whole flash of heat. Wow, you guys, there's actually a spirit coming through. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. Sorry, I don't mean to get off. You guys, that was just un very unexpected. Prayer in contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. You guys, your advice here is to take this as an opportunity. Follow your intuition to this opportunity. Take this opportunity to build your legacy. Pisces. 
whatever your legacy is, whatever it is you came here to build, something that you're going to leave behind for the future generations, whether it's your own children, your future selves, whether it's for the world. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, taking this as an opportunity to move toward your happiness. I don't know if you just heard the laptop beeping and, and it's it's talking to us now as well. I hope y'all heard that and I hope y'all are getting the messages because there's so much coming through right now. I literally got hot. Um, this is also coming through in your advice and that threw me off a little bit. So I apologize, you guys. Um, maybe there's something trying to throw you off or something. Don't let anything throw you off your square right now. OK, and this is exactly as I'm holding these cards. There may be some lower frequencies, right? We'll just say these these lower entities, depression, anxiety, sadness, fear. Do not let that throw you off your square right now. Whatever these past situations were, however these people were treating you, whatever happened that went wrong, because look, one, two, five and four, five of cups, four of cups, nine of cups, y'all, wish fulfillment. Where's the damn cards? Nine of wands. Do not stop pushing. Make sure you're setting healthy boundaries. Do not give up. Continue letting that inner fire be your guiding light right now and releasing all that is no longer serving you you're going through a major awakening here and gaining deep clarity and deep wisdom here so take all that you have been through integrate that family know that the universe is working for you everything is happening for you but five and four of cups do not let the past throw keep you away from this beautiful opportunity that is literally right here out of your view and the only reason that it's out of your view here in your advice is because you're focusing on whatever these empty ass cups are okay one two of cups nine of cups wish fulfillment and real love is here coming in hot for you pisces and literally an offer for that is coming in so take that do not give up do not let any lower frequencies throw you off your square right now family okay don't know who this message is for but it's very clear you're it's almost like you're walking away from a whole cycle of of how relationships used to go for you and you're moving into this beautiful energy where <clears throat> you're coming into union with soulmates with people who love you with people who are pouring into you with people who make you feel worth it with situations that are giving back to you like how my pisces pour into these situations so deep message here y'all wheel of fortune though out here a massive shift for you hermit there's a major cycle that's over and done with you guys taking all of that and turning it into gold right the alchemist that y'all are turning that lead into gold y'all are making magic happen Happen. so what is the message here for my Pisces we're gonna dive into these Oracle cards Bridget inner strength a lot of Leo energy and strength energy out here that may be relevant for you as well um, we're gonna read this card but I'm being guided to thank you spirit grab one more and it's white eagle you I told you an ancestor just came through and for some of you there's somebody there's a spirit named Peter or Pete coming through as well so um, that's obviously not for everybody so please don't try to make it fit but um, whoop but look at your ancestors really coming through for you and this is really about healing a fam breaking a family curse healing a family wound a deep karmic wound you guys some type of darkness or um, entity attachment or something you're really overcoming something very big here so stay strong pisces stay strong know that not only the universe but your ancestors your angels got your back right now okay let's um whoo a lot of emotions coming through in this reading you guys that's another thing spirit wants to say is feel your feelings let your emotions work through you don't try to suppress that shit okay your spiritual fire is growing within 
Recognize that the power of your soul is greater than you think. You have come a long way since you began this journey. There's a powerful force within you and you have the ability to create wonderful changes in your own life and inspire those around you to do the same. Whoop. There you are. Shining like the star you are. Um, be aware of new projects, opportunities, and fertile ideas that can grow into something larger than you may imagine. Call on the fiery god, goddess Bridget to light your way ahead. White eagle, ancestor spirit. Take some time to honor just how far you've come, recognizing the ceremony and ritual. Recognizing through ceremony and ritual the shifts in your awareness, healing, and journey really allows you to move into a state of grace and gratitude. You have or have recently had an opportunity to heal an old family wound or pattern. Y'all, I cannot make this up. Um, it's important to connect with your family in spirit so that you can set a new energy of love in place. White Eagle is bringing your ancestors through. Y'all hear that train? Yo. White Eagle is bringing your ancestors through to you and allowing you to know that they are happy and well. He is sounding his sacred drums to clear your spirit. I'm also hearing sound healing, you guys. What a beautiful message, y'all. I know this one isn't going to resonate with everyone, but for those of you that it does resonate with, yo, standing ovation, good shit, y'all, for real, for real. Like, this stuff ain't, hasn't been easy, it's not easy. Um, this is the stuff real warriors are made of, y'all, so straight up, straight up. And if you see that infinity symbol, this is shit that you incarnated to go through as hard as it was, so you could bring light and love and healing into these cycles, okay? Pisces, thank you, spirit. Deep Diver, number 10. It's easy to play in the shallows where waters are clear and you can see all that glitters by your feet. Anyone can venture here, there's little risk Nothing to discover, no dark secret, nothing that you can't already perceive. The treasure has long been picked away, replaced by a gentle certainty. In the shallow river is safety and no surprises. Ah, but that's not who's calling you now. The deep diver invites you to take the plunge within him. You can't see the bottom, but you must swim into the dark depths to find the mystery that eludes you now. He knows where the pearls lie underneath the ancient sands. You are called to look beyond the surface of things for your answer. Let your intuition propel you into the water, allowing your memories to swirl around you and your emotions to well up as you face the unknown. Your curiosity will be your greatest guide. You'll surely discover something wondrous to bring back to everyone who is waiting by the shore, but only you will truly know the value of your discovery. Are you willing to do the work? Dive in, make the commitment, and see it through, and you will be amazed. Y'all. Whew. <laughs> Let's grab a Moonology card, and then we'll grab a Kali Oracle or two. Being guided to grab a Moonology card, I wasn't guided to do that for Cancer or Scorpio. Look at the bigger picture. I'm going to put these back. Okay, that's what that's what wanted to come through. South node, don't let your past hold you back. Meditate and contemplate. It's time to release the negativity and show the world the real you. Sheesh, y'all. The south node is like the north node. It's a karmic point, but it's opposite to the north node and relates to the past, perhaps to even past lives. Whatever you're going through and whatever you're asking about, there's a chance that age-old programming and conditioning is stopping you from achieving all that you might. 
Do you feel stuck in something? This card will often come as a sign that the situation or relationship you're asking about has somehow become suffocating or even toxic. It suggests that someone, even you, needs to be released. There's some kind of addiction going on or an unhealthy attachment that needs to be sorted out. One thing is for sure, when you get this card, you're being challenged to make some changes. Even if staying where you are at feels easier and safer. Additional me uh, attuned to the moon for this card says, I release the past. That's your affirmation, uh, Pisces. Additional meanings, a relationship is karmic and it's played out across many lifetimes. Your attraction to someone may be verging on the obsessive. Um, and just because you can do something does not mean that you should. Let's grab a card, a couple messages from Ma here before we tap out. Let me see, what are we looking like? Okay, we got time. What do we have here, Ma? Messages for Pisces, please. Do not allow negative thought or speech to undermine your inner spiritual connection. Claim your voice and your power to express yourself from your heart. Though it may not yet be visible in your physical world, a new order is generating within the soul and in time it shall manifest in a transformation that heals your inner world and improves your physical life circumstances too. And we also have... This Kagda card, it says a predestined series of events is due to occur according to divine timing. This has been orchestrated at a higher level to integrate the paths of people with whom you have soul contracts within this lifetime. Trust in the doors that close just as much as in the doors that open for you as a result. She arrests the flow of negativity, particularly that of our own making. She transforms our karma from that which hinders our joy to that which can create true happiness. As you seek refuge in her, you are protected from gossip, slander, and any other form of negativity from others. A positive turning of the tide of good fortune is predicted. Pisces family! I just want to say I appreciate y'all so much for stopping through. That is what I have for y'all. If this message helped or resonated in any capacity, um, I would appreciate it a ton if you smashed that thumbs up for me. You guys, drop that sunshine emoji down in the comments to claim this massive shift, um, overcoming of this huge cycle, the learning and the ascension through it. Um, yeah, drop me a comment down below. Let me know how this is resonating for you. Um, before we tap out, family we're going to take a deep cleansing breath we're going to use our will to draw in divine cosmic energy prana chi ki we're going to picture it as white or gold light filling our bodies up we're going to pause hold the breath at the top lock that energy into our heart space and watch ourselves glowing brighter and brighter as we release we're going to exhale like we're filling up a balloon watching any negativity as we release, we're going to watch any negativity, any sadness, any anxiety, um, any lower frequencies whatsoever. We're going to watch that all in the form of black smoke or static leaving us so the divine can help us transmute that family. Sorry about that. I guess we ran out of time. I guess I can't see too well. Um, so let's get this breath in. <sighs> Breathe in. Hold it, squeeze Mulabanda, lock that energy into your heart space, watch yourself glowing brighter and brighter, and release Pisces family. I love and appreciate y'all so much, um, and I hope to catch y'all on the next reading.